Franken, Corbis Getty Images A bombshell report, published yesterday in The Atlantic, details first-hand accounts that in 2018, President Donald Trump chose not to visit an American military cemetery in France, saying why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers. He later referred to the more than 1,800 Marines who lost their lives at Bellow Wood, a key battle in World War I, as suckers for getting killed. The reporting has been met with shock and anger by many, and was vehemently denied by the president, who, according to the New York Times told reporters on Air Force One, if people really exist that would have said that, their low lives and their lies, Mr. Trump shouted above the noise of the plane's engines. And I would be willing to swear on anything that I never said that about our fallen heroes. There is nobody that respects them more. He added, what animal would say such a thing? One person deeply troubled by the reporting is Ted Roosevelt V, the great-grandson of President Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States. In a tweet last night, he wrote, My great-grandfather Theodore Roosevelt Jr. and his brother are buried in Normandy. Even as sons of a president, born into privilege, they understood they had an equal obligation to serve this great nation. There is a loser here, but it is not anyone buried in Normandy. This content is imported from Twitter. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information. At their website, Theodore Roosevelt Jr. was a veteran of both World War I and World War II. He was gassed and wounded during the Battle of Soissons in France in 1918. His younger brother Quentin was killed in combat later that summer. Their brother Kermit also fought in the Great War. Brigadier General Theodore Roosevelt Jr. in France in 1944. Batman Getty Images Ted Jr. Again served in World War II, as a Brigadier General, he fought in North Africa, Sicily, and later helped plan the D-Day invasion. He was the only general to land by sea on the Normandy coast with the first wave of troops, and at age 56, he was the oldest man in the invasion. His son, Captain Quentin Roosevelt II, was also among the first wave of soldiers at Omaha Beach. Ted Jr died in July of 1944 of a heart attack, and is buried at a cemetery in Normandy. His brother Quentin's body was moved later and laid to rest next to him. Ted Roosevelt V is a founding partner of Redwood Grove Capital, a private equity fund based in Palo Alto. Elizabeth Angel Digital Director Elizabeth Angel is the executive editor, Digital for Town and Country, where she writes about the British royal family, the Kennedys, Ivy League shenanigans, superstars of interior design, and trends in style, beauty, and home. This content is created and maintained by a third party, and imported onto this page to help users provide their email addresses. You may be able to find more information about this and similar content at piano.io Let's Block Ads. Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.